Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to start session four, create and customize table of contents of unit one digital documentation. Now, first of all, what is a table? So a table is a grid or collection or arrangement of cells in rows and columns. And uh, we can use table just to format our document or part of the document in rows and columns or in short or in other words, we can say that whenever you want to arrange data of our document in rows and columns. So in that case, we are storing that data of the document in table format. Now moving to the next slide. Uh, what is the need of creating a table or storing data in the table format? So for that here, I have considered one situation that I want to keep the students details. So when I'm not creating any table, so you can notice the first situation that I have to write this student name, class section, other number again and again means for each student, I have written this student name, class section, other number. So here, what is happening that I'm wasting my time in typing the same text again and again. So that is the issue when we are storing data in this format. So the solution is what table. So here you can see that same data I have stored, but in the table format. So here in this case, serial number, student name, class section, and other number, these five text I have written or typed single time only. And thereafter the details of all the students entered inside the table. So here uh, some advantages we are getting when we are storing data in the table format one is what that we can store our data in the more presentable format as you can notice that this table is in more presentable form as compared to the data that is available above the table and second one is what here when we have data in the table format the analysis we can do very easily for example if i want to see or find that how many students are in section a of class 10th then easily i can see that in class 10th four students are there but in section a only two students are there ashok and anuj so here the analysis of the data can be done also very easily so that's why we are storing our data in the table format now moving to the next slide now next is what is a row so a row is always horizontal and this is a group or collection of cells from left to right. Now next is what is a column? So column is always vertical and columns are the collection of or group of again cells only. But this group or collection is from top to bottom. Now next one is what is a cell? The cell is what intersection of the row and column. So in the table many rows and columns are there and the intersection of each row and column forming one cell. Now just to explain all the three definitions I have inserted here one table. So in this table you can notice that five rows are there first, second, third, fourth, fifth. First row is containing heading of all the columns and second to fifth row are containing details of the students. So row is what? Row is always horizontal. So here you can notice that this is the first row, this is the second row, third row, fourth row and fifth row. So rows are always horizontal and row here when I'm talking about this second row. So this second row is what collection of five cells. So one, two, three, four, five. So this second row is a collection of five cells here. And these cells are starting from left hand side and moving towards the right hand side. So, so that's the me a definition of row that you have already seen now next is what column so columns are first of all always vertical so here you can see five columns are there one two three four five so these are the five columns here and uh, columns are again what collection of cells only but this collection of cells starting from top and going in the downward direction so when i'm talking about this serial number column so here the serial number column is starting from here and in this serial number column this is a one cell second cell third fourth fifth so in this serial number column five cells are there so group of these five cells those are available vertically or starting from top and ending at the bottom of the table so these five cells collection is one column here and name of that column or heading of that column is serial number in this manner when i'm talking about this section column so this section column is again what vertical and this section column is the collection of five cells here first cell second third fourth 
and fifth so that's why column is what columns are vertical and collection or group of cells and this collection of cells starting from the top and going in the downward direction or ending at the bottom of the table so that is the column now next one is cell so cell is what intersection of row and column so when i'm talking about this cell that i have highlighted so this cell is what the intersection of this last row and third column so third column and last row both are intersecting at this point so here we are getting one cell in the same manner when i'm talking about this a row that is containing details of vikas so here this row and uh, section column these two are intersecting at this particular point so here we are getting one cell and this cell is containing data that is b so in this way cell is what intersection of row and column now move into the next slide now next is how can we insert a table in open office writer document now just to explain this practically i am moving to the open office writer document so here what open office writer document i have opened and i am going to show you how can we add table in this document so whenever you want to add or insert table in open office writer document so for that just click on table tab that is available on the menu bar and thereafter here we are getting one menu and this menu bring mouse pointer on insert option and as i brought mouse pointer on insert option i am getting here one sub menu and in this sub menu you have to select this table option so as i clicked on the table option one insert table window i am getting here so now first of all if we want we can give name to our table default name of the first table is table one but if we want we can change it and thereafter this is an important one we have to mention number of columns and rows those we want in our table so for example i want five columns in my table and eight rows so this is done so there will be eight rows there and five columns and then after mentioning these values just click on the ok option so as i clicked on the ok option here i am getting five columns one two three four five so five columns are there and eight rows so first second third fourth fifth sixth seventh eighth so here one table is created of five columns and eight rows now next one is seventh point how to enter text in a table and next is how to format enter text so these two i am going to explain now that how can we enter text in the created table thereafter how can we format our enter text so just to explain these two points practically again i am going to open open office writer document so here first of all i am going to enter some text in uh, this table so i am just going to give heading to my each column so first column has a serial number so i am writing here serial number next column is going to contain name of the student so i am writing here name next is going to contain class so that's why class here next is section so i am writing here section and one important point here is if you want to move to the next cell just click on the tab key and there after this cursor that you right now you are you can notice that blinking after and will shift to the next cell so as i am pressing tab key now my cursor has shifted to the next cell and here now i can write contact number so in this way i have given here heading to all the columns so in this manner or in this way we can add text in our table now next is how can we change format now format is what when i'm talking about this time serial number so you can see formatting toolbar so in the formatting toolbar font face of this serial number is times new roman size is 12 and left align now if i want to change font style or font face of the serial number as well as size color so that is what formatting so i i want to format my all the columns heading so for this first of all we have to select this entire row so just to select this entire row i have to click on any one cell of this row and thereafter click on table tab of the menu bar and here just bring mouse pointer on the select option and as i brought mouse pointer on the select option i am getting here one sub menu and that sub menu you have to click on rows option 
so as i clicked on the rows option you can notice that my this first row got select or highlight now i'm going to format my this text so for that just click on the format tab of the menu bar and here click on the character option and in the character option first of all as i want to change my font style from times new roman to arial so that arial i'm selecting from this list and thereafter i want to make my text heavy means bold option i want to use and i want to increase font size also so i want 15 font size so that 15 i'm selecting here so this is done means here i have changed font face then uh, font i have made heavy here and next font size also i have increased now moving to the next option that is font effects now in the font effects i want to change font color also right now this is black so i want my font in this color blue so i have selected it so here font color i have selected and thereafter just click on the ok option so as i clicked on the ok option now you can notice that i have changed here font face so now this is arial font size also i have increased that is 15 and i have changed my font color also and bold option also i have selected so in this way we can format our entered text in the table now next one is how to add image to a table so you have seen that how can we add text in the table now next is how can we add image in a table so that i'm going to show you now practically and next one is how can we format our added image also so these two now i'm going to show practically so now moving back to the open office writer so now for example i want to insert one image in this cell and uh, that is i am getting because of the intersection of second column and third row so i first of all click in that cell and thereafter i have to click on this insert tab that is available on the menu bar and here i have to select picture option so that picture option is here and thereafter in the picture option i have to click on from file so as i clicked on the from file i am getting here one window insert picture and first of all i have to select the location where my picture or image is available so as my image is available on the desktop so that desktop is selected and thereafter i am getting all the files available on the desktop so as i want to insert this image 81235 in my table cell so that is selected and thereafter click on the open option so as i am clicking on the open option that picture got insert in the cell of the table so in this manner we can add or insert image in the cell of the table now next is how can we format it now just to format the image first of all select the image thereafter move to the format tab of the menu bar and there just click on picture option so now as i clicked on the picture option i am getting here this picture window now as i want to give border to my picture so i can click on this and thereafter this option one border line type i can select from here and then border line color i can select from this option and uh, in this way border i have mentioned as well as border color also so that is done if we want to crop the image we can use this option if we want to change height and width of the image that can be done from here and after doing all the changes just click on the ok option so as i clicked on the ok option as i mentioned only border of the image so you can notice that my this image is enclosed inside one border and the border color also i have changed and that was magenta so that's why we are getting here border and magenta color so in this way by using format tab of the menu bar and picture option we can format our image that is inserted in the cell of the table now moving to the next so these two are done now next point is how to insert a row and column in a table so that i'm going to show you so just to explain how can we insert a row and column in our table i am just going to first of all add some data in my this table so that i am going to do now so here now you can see i have entered data of three students now what i want to do here as you can see that these students are arranged in this table according to the alphabetical order so now one more student has joined the school and that student name is Ajay. So as names are arranged here in the alphabetical order, so it means that our details of the student Ajay should come in between this second and third student details. So for that I have to add here one new row in between Amit and Mohan. So for this how can I add a new row in this table so now just understand that. So as I want to add one new row in between these two rows so for that I have to click 
either of these two rows so as i'm clicking on this row so after that or i have to click on table tab in the table tab menu bring the mouse pointer on the insert and in the insert just click on the row so as i clicked on the row i am getting here one window insert rows and here just mention how many rows i have to enter how many new rows i have to enter so as i want to enter one row only so that's why already one is there so i am not going to do any change here but suppose if i want to enter five rows then we can enter five value here so one and thereafter now i clicked on this uh, second serial number and after this i want to add new row so that's why we have to select this after option so by default it got select but suppose if not then we have to select the after option and thereafter just click on the okay so you can notice that one new row got entered in between amit and mohan and thereafter i can do the entry of that student here so here now name of the student class for example 9 section a and contact number this one so here now you can see that in this way we can add new row in our already created table in the same manner we can insert new column also now how this that can be done so for example i want to add one new column in between class and section columns so for that we can click on either of these two columns so i have clicked on this section column and thereafter again i have to use the same table tab of the menu bar and here insert option of this menu and here i have to click this time on the columns because i am going to insert one new column so that is done now again we have to mention how many number of columns we, we want to insert so as i want to insert only one column so that one is or by default there and now this time i want to insert one column in between class and section and last time my mouse pointer was on the section column so before the section column my new column will come so that's why i have to select this before option and then okay so now as that complete procedure is done so you can notice that one new column got insert in between class and section and here if i want i can give uh, heading of the column as admission number and if we want we can change or adjust uh, width of the columns also in this manner so now you can say that this is relevant so in this way we can add new row as well as column also in the created table so that is done now now moving to the slide now next is 12th point how to delete a row and column from a table so i am just going to explain this also practically so moving to open of a slider document so for example i want to delete here data of amit the student so for that i have to delete this complete row so how can i delete this complete row so just click on any one cell of this row so i have clicked on this cell of this row and thereafter bring mouse pointer on the table tab of the menu bar click on it and thereafter bring mouse pointer on the delete option and as i brought mouse pointer on the delete option i am getting here one sub menu and this sub menu as i want to delete one row here so that's why i have to select this rows option and as i clicked on it now you can see that the student data is now not available in my this table so in this way we can delete rows from the table now next how can we delete columns from the table so for that just click on one cell of that column so as i want to delete this contact number column so i have to click on one cell of this column and thereafter again menu bar and in the menu bar table tab and the table tab delete option and in the delete option columns as i am going to delete this time column here so as i clicked on it you can see now that contact number column is not available in our this table so this is done so now here one part of session 4 got over and next part of the session 4 i will start in the next video so this video i am going to end here